Hello, and welcome to our operating systems final project presentation. We have here a Internet of Things distance sensor. We have with us Jonah, Luke, Mohammed, and Nathan. We'll start with a quick summary of our materials. We have an ESP32 board, four ultrasonic sensors, an external battery bank power drill, and a UDP Python server running on a remote machine. On our ESP32 board, we are running FreeRTOS, and we are running a number of tasks to accomplish the single goal of taking distance values obtained from four different sensors concurrently and sending them to a UDP Python server. As we also need a timestamp that we send along with the distance values, we also have tasks dedicated to checking the current wall clock time, setting the current wall, wall clock time, and checking a connection to a time server and checking if it's still live. We have four tasks derived from one function using parameters passed through of the echo and trigger pins for each of the individual sensors. It loops through, waits on a semaphore for an interrupt set to trigger on those pins on a negative edge, and on the interrupt, returns back to the individual task and enqueues a time value, a distance value, and an ID for the particular sensor. This queue is then accessed from a different task, which checks to see if the queue is empty. If it's not empty, it dequeues, repackages a struct with the time value, the distance value, and the ID as a JSON object and sends it over a UDP connection to our Python server. Now at the Python server, we have two different tasks running. We have a task running which is a web interface and we have a task um, running on the Python server that is strictly checking for UDP connections, seeing the JSON objects come in, and storing them into a database, an SQL database. Then, a user can check the web interface. The web interface will query the database, and you can see a uh, live output of the current sensor data. We have a task set up for our command line interface so that when an interrupt, let's go of a semaphore, it will boot up and run until restart. In this command line interface, the user could then set the SSID and password that the board is connecting to and show those values and then restart the device to restart the connection. A separate function is set up which simply configures a push button to set an interrupt to let go of that semaphore in that previous task. In conclusion, our project seems to work as expected. It measures distance values in all four cardinal directions concurrently using four different sensors and sends that data to a UDB server to be stored in a non-volatile storage of a database. 